It's like 5.30 in the morning on the 4th of July. Excuse my horse voice. I don't have Ebola. See this? I'm wearing my Got Ebola shirt. I actually whoa, think I exposed a little bit of mold remodeling my house. But I wanted to tell you guys that my cat Marley is lucky to be alive. See him alive right there in the window. I want to tell you what happened. Not just to tell you, but also to warn you if you're a cat owner, so it won't happen to your cat. I was up late cleaning the house because it's covered with construction dust, which is making me lose my voice. And I was worried it was going to make my kid and my cat sick also. And I looked over and I heard Marley chewing something. And when I looked over, he was chewing on a piece of plastic. Sorry, I've got a really hoarse voice and it's hard for me to talk. He was chewing on a piece of plastic, or it sounded like a piece of plastic. And I was wearing like rubber gloves covered in soap. But even though I was wearing gloves covered in soap, I like ran over and grabbed him. And I didn't even take off the gloves. I just like pulled his mouth open because he was like, <laughs> and it sounded like he was like not getting any air. And I saw what looked like a piece of plastic like way in the back of his throat. And I couldn't get it out of his throat. And I pulled the gloves off and my hands were still soapy. And I was like struggling with my soapy hands with Marley like scratching me and biting me to the point where I was bleeding, trying to get this thing out of the back of his throat. And I just picked him up and started screaming my boyfriend's name and ran into the bathroom with him. And my boyfriend came running in and Eugene woke up and ran into, and my boyfriend kind of just like put his body out like this to hold back Eugene and like held Marley as I stuck my finger down his throat and the piece of plastic was like all the way in the back of his throat where I could barely reach it but after I stuck his finger down I mean my finger down his throat several times he gagged it up and when he gagged it up it was a piece of duct tape a little tiny piece of duct tape like this wide and like maybe half an inch long and it had like gone over the back of his throat like totally blocking his airway and he was like <laughs> and like if I hadn't been awake and three feet away from him when this happened he very likely would have died I do not know if he would have been able to cough that up on his own so there he is Marley I'm so happy that he is alive and I'm warning other pet owners to be very careful if you have any small pieces of tape to make sure they're in a trash bag and I'm always very careful to make sure that all my trash is in a trash bag but because we've been doing a lot of construction and we've had a lot of construction supplies shipped to us there were a few empty cardboard boxes with tape on them and one of the cats must have chewed the tape off and Marley bit a piece of that tape, and I guess he was just like chewing on it. I don't know if he was trying to eat it or just playing with it, but I guess he swallowed it. So there he is, Marley, one of the cats I make YouTube videos about, and there is another one of the cats I make videos about, Slate the cat with the crooked tail. It was Blue Dream attacking Slate. I'm very happy that they are all currently still alive. So please share this video with everyone you know who has a cat, just to make sure it doesn't happen to their cat.